Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to my other video. In this video, we are gonna review about the manager, Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique is one of the finest tacticians in the football world. He is the former Spanish midfielder who spent 5 years with Real Madrid and 7 years with FC Barcelona before becoming a manager. He was appointed as the Barcelona manager in 2014. During his management period, Barcelona was tamed as unbeatable. He had also won the UCL title in his debut season in Barcelona. In June 2018, he made the coach for Spain's national football team, but he retired from his position in 2019 due to some personal reasons. However, his daughter Sana died by bone cancer on August 29, 2019 at the age of 9. He shattered with the loss of his only baby. Luis Enrique's management tactics and strategies had made the Barcelona unbeatable team during his coaching career in Barcelona. Now let's review about Luis Enrique in PES 20. As we all know that Luis Enrique is a licensed manager in PES 20. He has same formation both in offensive and defensive tactics. He follows 4-3-3 formation in PES 20 and his management skill is 860. So you can use players having higher player scores. We can use a team which has team strength from 4800 to 4900. Next let's review about Luis Enrique's management tactics and strategies in PES 20. Luis Enrique follows possession game as attacking style in PES 20. You can see that in possession game we will have the most possession on the ball and we attack by keeping the possession. The build up is short pass so the scoring is made by short passes. You can see that I am attacking by giving short passes. On striking area center the players will not play by Even the formation has wingers the wingers only will play within the d box so we can take more on target shots and the attacking is made through the center now if he looks towards this positioning it is flexible in this strategy if any one of our player moves forward for attacking other players nearby that player will gain that position and play on that position until that player comes back from attacking You can see that when one of my player moves forward to attack you can see that the player nearby that position occupies his space Luis Enrique follows front line pressure as his defensive style. In front line pressure, the ball is recovered as soon after you lose the possession on the ball. This strategy is called front line pressure. The containment area is center. Containment area center is a defensive technique which makes a trap by giving space to your opponent to attack through the middle. But when they tries to attack through middle, our defense beat their attack. Next, if he looks towards pressing, it is aggressive. Aggressive pressing means if he has lost the possession on the ball our players will highly keep pressing on the opponent to regain back the possession so during aggressive pressing the players will move forwards without maintaining their positions If he looks towards Luis Enrique's defensive tactics there are no major changes from the offensive tactics everything is same as in the offensive tactics so let's move to the player suitability in Luis Enrique's management strategies Next let's check the player suitability in Luis Enrique's management tactics. First let's look which player is well suited on the goalkeeping position. As the defensive tactics in Luis Enrique's formation is front line pressure, we should choose goalkeeper having playing status as offensive goalkeeper. For example, Manuel Neuer, Marcus Stegen, Alisson Becker, De Gea, Chesney, etc. Next, if we look towards the center backs, we should choose a player with good height, gem, man marking and build up as playing status as center backs. Examples of players having built up as playing status are Virgil van Dijk, Harry Maguire, De Gea, Thiago Silva, Clement Langlet, etc. Next in the case of right backs and left backs, we should choose offensive or defensive full backs having good speed. Examples of the offensive full backs well suited in Enrique's formation are Roberto Carlos, Cafu, Andrew Robertson, David Alaba, Kyle Walker, etc. And example of defensive full backs are Cesar Aspilicueta, Pavard, etc. The defensive midfielder should be a destroyer because a destroyer can play all over the field. He can help both in attacking and defense too. So it is better to use a destroyer than a anger man. Examples of destroyers are Patrick Vieira, Angola Kante, Fernandinho, etc. Next, as we move towards the center midfield, you should choose a orchestrator as center midfielder number 1. An orchestrator can give more accurate passes and can fuel up the attack, but they will not attack for the forwards. 
they will maintain a little bit position and they are really beast when a rebound comes they can score goals from long ranges examples of players having orchestrated as playing states are fran diong p shorts tony cruz luka modric etc next you should choose a player having box to box as playing states as center midfielder number 2 a box to box player plays both in opponent's half and in your half he can play all over the field examples of box to box players are david beckham Lothar Matthews, Pavel Nedved, Allen, etc. Next, if we choose a player to the left wing position, a player having prolific winger is well to suited for this position. He should have better finishing and good speed. For example, Cristiano Ronaldo, Eden Hazard, Sadio Mane, etc. If we choose a player to the right wing position, a player having roaming flank is well suited to this position. Players having these positions have the ability to cut inside the D box and receive the ball. The players should have good speed. For example, Lionel Messi, Mohamed Salah, etc. As he moves towards the center forward position, a goal poacher is well suited to this position. For example, Sergio Aguero, Kylian Mbappe, Roberto Lewandowski, etc. In substitution bench, always use a players that can replace the players in the attacking position. You should always keep one each player of all the positions in the substitution bench and it is better to have one super sub in the substitution bench. As in the real football, Luis Enrique is one of the best manager in Preston D. If you use these tips, you can use him more perfectly than before. Okay, so let's wind up this video. If you have any doubts about this review, you can DM me in the Instagram. I will give you the link in the description and the comment section. Feel free to ask. I will be there 24 by 7. Thanks for watching. It's me, Justin signing off from Dead LC.